At Herne and Galmarden, situated 30 kilometers southwest of Brussels, the pavement of the N255 Edigen Ninova had to be renewed on a length slightly over three kilometers. It's a road in a rural environment, with less than 5,000 vehicles per day, yet with 12% heavy freight vehicle traffic, with a single lane of three meters in each direction. The Flemish community seized the opportunity by constructing test sections to compare noiseless cement concrete pavements with bituminous pavements. In cooperation with research centers and university laboratories, some concrete mixtures were studied and the contractor improved on the construction techniques, an innovation for the Flemish region. A continuously reinforced cement concrete pavement with a thickness of 18 centimeters, a longitudinal reinforcement of 18 millimeter bars, at an intermediate distance of 15 centimeters, serves as basis for different upper layers, each four centimeters thick. A completely computerized concrete plant installed next to the site ensures a fast processing of high quality concrete. On a test section 832 meters long, an upper layer in fine concrete 07 is casted wet on wet. This being a technique which was already applied in Austria in 1990. The surface treatment of the upper layer is carried out according to the washing out method, which was improved in Belgium. A citric acid retarding agent is pulverized on the fresh concrete, which is then covered with a plastic sheet afterwards. About 24 hours later, the sheet is removed and the non-bound concrete mortar is washed out with water. An average texture depth of 1.2 millimeters measured by the sand mark test was aimed for. On another test section, 537 meters long and equally wet on wet, a very porous concrete has been casted. Such an upper layer was already studied in the Netherlands from 1987 onwards and constituted the subject of a European study project, the Bright Uram project BE3415, in which the Netherlands as well as Germany and Spain have cooperated. The very porous concrete lane is three meters wide. In this way, a strip of 25 centimeters of the continuously reinforced concrete underlayer is used as a draining channel. As a lively interest has been shown on an international scale in the realization of the test sections, road engineers are looking forward to seeing the results of these works. <laughs>